focus. You ready? I need you to keep eating while I speak. <laughs> now I want us to do something that is going to illustrate the next point I want to make about listing out your productive desires. Because, by the way, I mentioned productive because I think we all have, well, let me, let me rephrase this. We all could be tempted to have unproductive desires. For instance, if your goal is to lose 10 pounds and you have a tendency to go to the fridge about 3 o'clock in the morning, yeah, that's a desire, right? But it's not very productive. So I want us to think about desires that are actually positive and productive. Please raise your hand if you notice more yellow this time. Okay, why do you notice more yellow? Because you are looking for it. Okay, now, be honest. Please raise your hand if when I asked you to look for yellow, after I had asked you to look for red, that you weren't as fixated on just looking for yellow in case I happened to call out a third color. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now the important, the reason that I did this exercise is for an important reason because as you start to think about inviting more productive desires into your life, you are going to get distracted. We all get distracted and it's important to paint your own world. Ladies, I want to share this with you because this is a bit of an aha moment for me once I ended that relationship. When you make excuses for someone else, you invite them never to change. When you make excuses for someone else, you invite them never to change. And, and sadly, in often, often times, that someone else is us. Without squashing whatever it is, took the jeans off and opened the window and threw it out to my uncle, along with my lady manners. He catches it. Of course, my mother's at a safe distance, horrified and freaking out. My uncle grabs the jeans and he shakes them out. And out falls a lizard about that age. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, did I mention that I do not like reptiles? <laughs> and my mother looks at me with the most compassionate, loving, kind eyes that any mother would have. And you know what she said to me? You know, Sylvia? You need to start wearing some skirts and dresses more. This sort of thing will happen to you. I'm thinking, what? What? Sounds like a mother. Absolutely, and I do wear pants a lot, and I'm not. I'm not going to stop. But even for a lizard. But the point of this, ladies and gentlemen, is. Be proactive with your self-care. Don't wait until the emergencies. If you can see a primary care provider, why wait till the emergency room? Yeah. Or, you know, the key is, if you're not proactive with your self-care, you might end up with a lizard in your pants. 